Code doesn't work. What to do? First, you blame the compiler. After that, you blame hardware. And by the end of the night being awake, you find some really stupid mistake in your perfect code. But this is not always the case. Some time ago, in January 2021, Russell King posted this into the Linux kernel mailing list. Since 5.4, I've been struggling with several of my ARM64 systems, where sporadically reporting I not check some failures on their root file systems. We don't know if it is the kernel, the Cortex A72, or the cache coherent interconnect. Do you see? All of us do that. Suspect other kernel code, CPU hardware, and even cache coherence mechanism. By the way, the last one is very complicated indeed. It even has its own joke. This time Russell found the problematic function. I will keep only important parts. This function declares a local struct on the stack, desk. CRC argument goes to deskctx. And the function returns deskctx number. And this is the machine code generated by GCC. When we enter the function, 32 bytes are allocated on the stack. X29, X19 and X30 are saved there. 180 in hexadecimal more bytes are reserved in the stack. X19 is the address where desk struct will live. Now we understand the layout in the stack. So, to the main part. The function returns desk city X field, which lives right above the X30 on the stack. To return values, the compiler uses wo register, and this is the instruction that loads the deskctx from the stack to wo to return it. But the previous instruction did move the stack pointer back to the place where x30 sits. And this is not correct. It is crucial to have these two instructions in the opposite order. The compiler should move the stack pointer back only when all the memory accesses to the reserved stack area are finished. This code works most of the times, but if the interrupt comes right between these two instructions, deskctx will be corrupted by the interrupt handling code. And this is exactly what Russell has observed. You might say, you know, this is interesting, but the kernel is a bit special and we will never see that problem in the user space. But in fact, we will. Any signal arriving to the user space process between those two instructions will corrupt the stack exactly the same way. So, sometimes the compiler does generate incorrect code. You should be brave enough to investigate it, and your investigations are always welcome.